A six superstar battle royal coming up next, guys. And Cole, I can realistically see any one of these six superstars walking away with a win here tonight. And his opponents, first, from Calgary, Alberta, Canada, weighing in at 228 pounds, Johnny the Living Legend, Anderson. A huge opportunity for these six superstars here tonight, guys. But as the great Dusty Rhodes would say, only one will make it to the pay window at the end of this one. From Guadalajara, Jalisco, Mexico, weighing in at 261 pounds, Kiki Cho. Plenty of action coming up as we have six of WWE's top names ready to go here. Oh man, Michael, six-man matches like this always remind me of world class back in the 1980s. From Denton, Texas, weighing in at 360 pounds, Evan Reed. A massive humanity in the ring right now as we get ready for this battle royal. And this is going to be one of those matches where you hope the crew did everything in their power to construct a ring as durably as possible. Welcome to the Wasteland. And from Calgary, Alberta, Canada. The power of Tazawa. Come on, Byron. This will be a sight. Okay, folks, here we go. This battle royal is underway. 
Tozawa so quick, so dangerous. I'll tell you guys, I joined one of Akira Tozawa's fierce training sessions, and I can barely make it back to my car after. I refuse to believe you actually did it and survived. Tozawa's a freak when he's training. I'd have been fine, though. Oh, to the back of the neck. What a lariat. Six-man match. And his opponent, first, from Charleston, South Carolina, weighing in at 236 pounds, C. Moore. Plenty of action coming up as we have six of WWE's top names ready to go here. Oh, man, Michael. Six-man matches like this always remind me of world-class back in the 1980s. And from Jerusalem, Israel, weighing in at 274 pounds, as we get started here, let me remind everybody that the only way to get eliminated from this battle royal is to get thrown over the top rope and have both feet touch the arena floor. And not only does it take a tremendous amount of skill to be successful in a battle royal, but there's also... A oh, WWE Okay, Universe! Corey, I have a challenge for you, all right? Don't you for the dare first time in your life, try to be positive, man! We are the longest reigning tag champs! 
and feel the power! And from Atlanta, Georgia, weighing in at 205 pounds, Xavier. Uh, Xavier with Francesca number 88. Oh man, I would love to have my own Francesca. Exit. They call him the heart of 205 Live. The soul of WWE's cruiserweight division. And from Charlotte, North Carolina, weighing in at 200 pounds, Cedric Alexander. From the edge of reality, weighing in at 220 pounds, Julie! Plenty of action coming up as we have six of WWE's top names ready to go here. Oh man, Michael, six man matches like this always remind me of World Cup. And we're underway with this six superstar battle royal. And let's wow. remember, guys, both feet have to hit the floor in order to be eliminated from this battle royal. This is a bad situation. Nailed it. Xavier Woods really feeling the heat now. He needs to create some space and find a way to get back on the offensive. This is certainly trending in the wrong direction for him, guys. He's going to have to get it together if he wants to win this battle royal. This match is so evenly contested right now that it's almost impossible to pick a winner. I guess we'll just have to settle in and enjoy the action. Target. Oh, man. A great battle royal was the number 30 over the top rope challenge on Monday Night Raw back in 2004. The WWE Universe saw Goldberg, Mark Henry, Rob Van Dam, Chris Jericho, Randy Orton, and Booker T. Battle it out to see who would be the last superstar standing and earn the coveted 30th entrance spot for that year's Royal Rumble match. Oh boy, he is rolling. Going for the flying fish hook. There is no coming back from that one. Got the reversal. Oh boy, he is rolling. Got the leg. Oh, Dragon Whip connects.
Setting up for it. Uh, Is it enough, though? Xavier Woods with serious reason for concern. Xavier Woods is one of the most interesting WWE superstars today. Woods was a championship contender in NXT before forming a tag team on the main roster with R-Truth. Then, Xavier's career skyrocketed thanks to the power of positivity. He's not in a good spot here, guys. Making his way to the ring from Long Island, New York, weighing in at 204 pounds, Tony. A huge opportunity here tonight for one of these superstars to prove their dominance against a whole host of others. Yeah, and whoever ends up winning this battle royal will have certainly earned it. I mean, some of WWE's biggest names are in this... Ladies and gentlemen, we have six of WWE's top superstars competing in this. The knockout artist, Cassius Ono's here. And from Dayton, Ohio, weighing in at 260 pounds, Cassius Ono. From Gomez Palacio, Durango, Mexico, weighing in at 492 pounds, Ashley! Plenty of action coming up as we have six of WWE's. This is it, ladies and gentlemen. Our big battle royal is underway. Guys, you can make a case for any one of these six competitors winning this battle royal. Hey, hey, you're gonna get yourself disqualified. The leg is... Oh, what a boot. What a stop. Good grief. Beautiful technique. Set him up. This might be it. Oh, my. Ooh, what an idea. Power drop kick. Got 
Got him caught using the elbow as a weapon. Looking helpless right now. This could be the beginning of the end. Brutal forearm. What a clothesline! Ouch! What a strike! Point of the elbow, nailed it. I think we know what this is. Neckbreaker! Ouch! The damage has been done. Will Xavier Woods be able to continue? Time. Comes up big with the reversal. Quick thinking to avoid that one. Oh man, right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. Oh boy, he is rolling. Lariat. Oh, what impact. All the way up and around the world. Oh, the old head scissor. No doubt about that one. attack. Crucifix head scissor. Oh, it's over. Roundhouse kick. That has got to be it. Oh, boy, he is rolling. A second time. Nice job getting out of the way. No, it's breaking down the opponent. That might have done it, Cole. There's no denying the impact of that move. It's the same to be the last one. All the way up and around the world. Crucifix, head scissor. Game, set, match. This one is over. On the back of the net. This one is over. Byron, you made a great point earlier when talking about the different strategy a superstar needs to employ in a six-man battle royal as opposed to a battle royal with a much larger number of participants. In a six-man battle all the way up and around the world. That should do it. When this guy's on, look out. most alpha personalities all competing in the same match. There's a good chance this one ends deteriorating.
Corey, as we get ready to go, tell me, do you have a favorite heading into this battle royal? I've learned never to pick a favorite in a match like this. I mean, we once saw the Brooklyn Brawler win a battle royal, which tells me anything can truly happen here in WWE. Coming up as we have six of WWE's top names ready to go here. Oh man, Michael, six man matches like this always remind me of world class back in the 1980s. Absolute space cadet. Yeah, but he's fun to watch, Corey. From he's... bell to bell, I agree with you. You realize just because you wear a badge doesn't make you a cop, right? He's no a... more than putting chicken feathers in your ear makes you a chicken, Byron. Or Byron, just you sitting here at the announce desk doesn't make you an announcer. You know what? You guys aren't going to cramp my style. I'm fond dangling like it's 1999. You can't cramp something that doesn't exist. Huh? 1999? Well, it's a play on words. No matter how you feel about the personality of Fondago, he is one of the most talented superstars inside the ring. And he's got great style, too. On what? Six superstar battle royal coming up next, guys. And Cole, I can realistically see any one of these six superstars walking away with a win here tonight. Plenty to keep your eye on here as we kick off this all-important battle royal. Look at the talent inside that ring, guys. Oh, this might just be the most exciting battle royal we've seen in years. What a stop! Great. Cheap shot right above the eye. Boom! Oh, chip breaking uppercut.
gets at least a little beat up in a battle royal. Oh. That's just the nature of the beast. I'm not going to go so far as to say he can't win this match, but things certainly aren't looking good for him right now. six-man battle royals I've ever witnessed took place on SmackDown in 2008. It was Jeff Hardy, Big Show, Great Khali, Umaga, MVP, and Mr. Kennedy all throwing down to see who would be the number one contender for the WWE Championship. The winner would take on then WWE Champion all the way up and around the world. That changes the entire complexion of this match. This night could be over for Fandango. Harsh impact. One of the most intense six-man battle royals I've ever witnessed took place on SmackDown in 2008. It was Jeff Hardy, Big Show, Great Khali, Umaga, MVP, and Mr. Kennedy all throwing down to see who would be the number one contender for the WWE Championship. The winner would take on then WWE Champion, Triple H. What a strike. This capacity crowd starting to sense the end is near, and I don't disagree. I think this one's over. Look out here. Look, he's stunned here, guys. How do you rebound from this? Nobody controls the pace of the match. What about this guy? Making his way to the ring from the Navajo Nation, weighing in at 220 pounds, Kitty! This is great, guys. This battle royal promises to be amazing. And let's not forget that simply going over the top rope is not enough to get eliminated. Both feet must touch the arena floor in order for your night to end. From Austin, Texas, weighing in at 315 pounds, Butch Skinner.
Ladies and gentlemen, we have six of WWE's top superstars competing in this Battle Royal coming up next. I don't know about you guys, but I've been looking forward to this Battle Royal all From Boston, Massachusetts, weighing in at 250 pounds, Stuff. Plenty of action coming up as we have six of WWE's top names ready to go. From Chicago, Illinois, weighing in at 303 pounds, Jenkins. Plenty of action coming up as we have six of WWE's top names. Plenty of action coming up as we have six of WWE's top names ready to go here. Oh man, Michael, six-man matches like this always remind me of world class back in the 1980s. And there's bodies everywhere as we get this battle royal started. I'd say this is one of those battle royals where you can't pick a favorite going in. Any one of these superstars can win this thing. Boom! Impact! Oh, continuing to punish them! Oh, what a clothesline! Forcefully delivered. Looking stunned here, guys. How do you rebound from this? A great six-man battle royal was the number 30 over-the-top rope challenge on Monday Night Raw back in 2004. The WWE Universe saw Goldberg, Mark Henry, Rob Van Dam, Chris Jericho, Randy Orton, and Booker T battle it out to see who would be the last superstar standing and earn the coveted 30th entrance spot for that year's Royal Rumble match. Byron, you took us back in time with the number 30 over the top rope challenge on Raw. The thing about that battle royal that is so memorable to me is the way Goldberg dominated the match early on. Goldberg was the last superstar to enter the ring. He just started dropping his opponents. One by one, superstars were eliminated, the first being Rob Van Dam, followed by Booker T. And just like that, they were down to four superstars, Michael. You saw how resourceful Chris Jericho and Randy Orton were to survive against the super heavyweights like Goldberg and Mark Henry. Y2J did get eliminated after Mark Henry was gone. It came down to Randy Orton and Goldberg. The battle royal ended when Goldberg press slammed Orton out of the ring onto fellow Evolution members Nature Boy Ric Flair oh. and Batista. It's important to remember, as with any WWE battle royal, that it's... Uh-oh, here we go, here we go! Oh boy, he is... What impact! 
What a maneuver. Six man battle. Dick to the gut. No way. No way. This is not going to be pretty. Bruno Driver. What's going to happen now? Do you hear that thud? God. to the spine. Looking vulnerable now, guys. This is a bad situation. Well, that's one way to surprise an opponent. Something big is coming. Side Russian leg sweep. Oh, 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 perfect form. This could be big. Boom! <laughs> Flying forearm. Gotta wonder how this is gonna end, Byron. Whatever happens, it's not gonna be good. I can tell you that. Harsh impact. Talk about having the living hell beat out of you. I'm not used to seeing this. Six of WWE's most alpha personalities all competing in the same match. There's a good chance this one ends deteriorating sooner than later. Oh boy, he is rolling. It's the mark. You gotta believe this one's over. What a stop. Good grief. Exclamation point on a match. Dick of the gut. No way. No way. This is not going to be pretty. Bruno Driver. That should do it. See the way. Making his way to the ring from Tokyo, Japan, weighing in at 225 pounds, Hero the Machine Tanaka.
Plenty of action coming up as we have six of WWE's top names ready to go here. Oh, man, Michael. Six-man match. And his opponents, first, from Chicago, Illinois, weighing in at 376 pounds, Bobby Bruno. A huge opportunity for these six superstars here tonight, guys. But as the great Dusty Rhodes would say, only one will make it to the pay window at the end of this one. From Las Vegas, Nevada, weighing in at 267 pounds, Louis G. Corey, as we get ready to go, tell me, do you have a favorite heading into this battle royal? I've learned never to pick a favorite in a match like this. I mean, we once saw the Brooklyn Brawler win a battle royal, which tells me anything can truly happen here in WWE. It sounds to me like this crowd is ready to get this battle royal underway. And so are these superstars, Michael. Each and every one of them have a golden opportunity to prove their... Guys, you have to think that this battle royal will be one for the ages. True words may never have been spoken, Michael. This battle royal has all the elements of an instant classic. And there's bodies everywhere as we get this battle royal started. Look at the oh. talent inside that ring, guys. This might just be the most exciting battle royal we've seen in years. It could be all but over. 
Oh my God. DDT planted. Duplex. Devastating elbow. This might be it. Oh my. And it's reversed. statement here with this attack. We've seen this before. <laughs> but he's got to capitalize now. Side slam. Ooh, what impact. Harsh impact. He looks a bit off his game here. He came into this match expecting a fight, and that's exactly what he's getting. This is certainly trending in the wrong direction for him, guys. He's going to have to get it together if he oh, wants man. to win this battle royal. Yeah, but if you count him out now, guys, you'd be making a very big mistake. Mark my words. Quick thinking to avoid that one. When I think of a six-man battle royal, I often think of how different the strategy is for a superstar who's competing in it. Yes, the objective is the same, to be the last person standing in the ring, but there are only six superstars. You're not able to hide among the trees, so to speak, as well as the Battle Royals with 20, 30, or 40 superstars. He's looking at it. This might be it! Oh, my! That one definitely hurt, Cole. Inverted power slam! Wow! Oh, damage to the body! I knew it was only a matter of time. I don't think there's any coming back from this type of assault. And things look bleak right now. Ooh, look out, there he goes. Knocked right off his feet. Oh boy, he is rolling. Pump handle slam. That should be it. Now that's a display of excellent ring awareness. Nicely done. It's important to remember, as with any WWE Battle Royal, the superstars eliminated when they go over the top rope and both feet touch the floor. Six-man Battle Royals have been used over the years to determine everything from who the number one contender is for a WWE Championship to who will be a certain entry number in the Royal Rumble match. Down to the floor. The impact. Oh boy, he is rolling. Six man battle royals have made for some exciting moments on both. This could end it in a hurry. What a clothesline! Ouch. Incredible. 